It is important to enter your answers into the answer box correctly so that the computer can accurately determine if your answer is correct. And to do that, the first thing you'll want to do is read through the Using XYZ Homework Guide. And this you can refer back to throughout the quarter as you're trying to enter in new types of answers. So it's important that you do walk through this diagram, but I will also demonstrate some of these skills live to make it a little bit easier for you. Now I know the answer to this question is P minus 2W divided by 2, and I want to type it in correctly, so with the correct parentheses. So when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, okay, I have P minus 2W divided by 2. Now if you'll notice, I'm going to hit the preview, it's going to show me how the cap how the computer is interpreting this. So it's reading it as P minus 2 times W over 2. So I need to put parentheses in in order to let the computer know that P minus 2 W is the entire numerator. So I'm going to hit preview and now I can see that the computer is accurately reading how I want my answer to be. Now there's another way to enter your answers. You can click here on the yellow button and you'll get what's called a math quill box. And here you can actually just click on things and you have your basic fractions, power, or exponents, subscripts, square root, and so forth. And here's your parentheses. And there's other functions that we'll be using later on. For now I'm just going to use the parentheses button and it automatically puts parentheses in for me. I type in what I want in between and then I go here I can select that and hit fraction and now it says P minus 2W is on the top and I put a 2 underneath Now I hit save. So it's gone in and it's calculated what I wanted and it says syntax is okay. So we can go ahead and hit submit on our question and we have the question correct. So that's another way that you can enter, enter in your answers, is either with the math quill or as they call it, the calculator style entry. You may have noticed that I had parentheses around my P minus 2W. So I'm going to show you again using math quill. So since we're using a fraction, the nice thing is when you click fraction, whatever you type in the numerator, it's going to, re it's going to interpret that it's in the numerator. So I could have just done P minus 2W after clicking the fraction, put the two on the whoops, put the two on the bottom, and I would still end up with the correct answer. Here's another example with the exponents. So I can click in here. I know that c cubed to the third power is equal to c to the ninth. So I would type in a c, and then on the keyboard I could press the shift key and the six, which gives us that little caret which lets the computer know that's an exponent, and then I could type in 9, and I'll hit preview, and it says c to the ninth, which is what I want. Or I can use the math quill, and I can use right here, I can type in c, click the x power button here, and then I can type in 9, and then hit save, it puts it in there, and it's still correct. So again, you can use either method, and as you go through the quarter, You'll get familiar with the different types of ways to type it in or using the math quill box. And you can refer back to the calculator style entry table or the math tips that they have for using math quill in the XYZ homework guide. And remember the XYZ homework guide can be found underneath course management. You just click on the link and it brings up the document. It's a PDF that you can then download to your computer.